you actually having the opportunity to be a pastor at the point. No, no, no. We did, we, I just knew it was going to happen. I didn't know when. <laughs> That's you cool, know, I didn't know when yeah. it was yeah, going to yeah, happen. Yeah. I just knew my calling like from yeah. the get-go. Like, I'm preparing myself. Yeah. Like, it's like when you go to school, bro. Like, you're going to become a doctor. You're studying whatever you are. Like, you know you're going to finish and you're going to become a doctor. Right. And I knew I was in school learning yeah. the discipline of... To be that. To be that. So what, like, w how old were you when you knew, like, you wanted to be that? I was 28 years old. 28? Yeah, when you when you feel like I I'm met, be a pastor. I, I met the Lord when I was 20, 20 years old. Okay. Nineteen years old. Yeah. Um, eighteen, nineteen, around that age. Yeah. But I was reckless. You know, my my upbringings were were, yeah. were crazy. My, my mm -hmm. it was it a was crazy intense. life. I was I was intense. I was you were intense. intense. That's cool. Uh, I get I get the word. Nice. I get the word. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I get the intensity. Um. But I always knew that I wasn't just a person that goes to church. Like, yeah. I was met for something. So when you got saved, you started going, and you, since then you were super intentional about it. So Yeah, I was very intentional. So I got saved. I got saved on, let's say, on a Monday. Yeah. And by Saturday, I was being baptized. Wow. You were, and, like, you were on a path. Yeah, and, and, and then like two weeks later, I was in uh, ministry school. No freaking but way. But I put myself in there. Like I was learning Bible. Like, what is the Bible? Like, I had never, bro. We never owned a, a Bible in my life, bro. So that was your that was your first like experience with God, right? Also, besides, like you got yeah, saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, yeah. My mom kind of brought us into yeah. the whole Christian, but it was so like, oh, it was you go to Christian, yeah, church, and then you party Saturday, right, 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 and then right, you're right. cool to go on Sunday. You yeah. ask for forgiveness, and then yeah. you know the Catholic way. The or Catholic whatever you life. I mean, I don't want to. I don't yeah. want to get into the whole thing, but yeah, we 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 brought we were brought up here in Chula Vista, bro. So we know a lot of the local <laughs> churches that yeah. that are around here. We used to go to them as kids, bro. But I was like, bro, like all these people are 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 not for me, dude. Like I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, little yeah. that I know is yeah. that my my process was a little bit different, you know. Right. So I get saved in a Pentecostal church, bro, mm -hmm. where they used to speak in tongues. Where fire, were, like, fire everywhere. from heaven every yeah. single Sunday, bro. Wow. And here in San Diego. Actually, in Tecate, bro. In Tecate. In Tecate Heck, bro, yeah. yes. Even better, dude. So, so I started with missions. Like, yeah. we, we would go to San Luis, uh, Rio Colorado, and yeah. we started a church out there. We, I mean, we're, I was always next to, like, a first. Like, I was, like, God would always, like, not because yeah. I was, you know, I was kissing butt. Like, right. no, bro. Like, I was, it's just, like, I would always be intentional about learning. Like, what yeah. Do you, what do you, what, what do you have to teach what me? You, yeah. Teach me. I want to learn. That's cool. What do you mean you want to learn? No one wants to learn. Yeah. No, teach me. Yeah, what do yeah. I have to do? Clean your car? Wash, you know, bathrooms? Yeah. It was fire, bro. Like, for That's me, crazy. it was like, ah, yeah. I'll clean the bathroom today, bro. Just to be around. Yeah, just to be around. Because back in the day, bro, like, I, I mean, maybe I'm talking too much. But no, like, no, it's good. Apostoles and, and apostles. See. and Like, it was a big movement, bro. So thing, these yeah. men of God, bro, were speaking fire from their, you know, yeah. from God. Bro. Like, it was just speaking. I was like, around, bro, taking notes. Low right. key, bro. Like, I had a little libretita and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. writing things. I was like, what do you mean? You know, right. salvation, what do you mean? Like, ah, and they were having this, like, I used to, like, I was always around the first, so I would, so we would have meetings, and since I was always carrying the libreta, like, yeah. the, the notebook, well, back then there was no iPads, bro. Like, no, yeah, I, was, you know? I was about to say, like, <laughs> hey, no, no iPads back then, there for sure. No iPad, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was always carrying it, bro, so they yeah. needed me inside that meeting, because I was carrying what they needed to write and with. And you had you know? all the, okay, okay. And it was then always, then, up, yeah. like, the Bible, like, yeah. el saco, bro, like, hey, let me take off your saco, because I know they were going to call me back. Yeah. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, so you, were, you were intentional since the beginning. Intentional from the beginning, bro. Like I wanted, yeah. I wanted to know what these guys knew, yeah, and what put them in that position. That's good. Where they were giving the bread, you know, like right. where they were, they were pushing, you know, through. Intense, and they, these, yeah. these guys were these men of God, bro. Like back in the day, bro. They, uh, the men of God that 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 I was around, bro. Like yeah, he was he opened I think three hundred fifty churches, bro. Wow. In, like in Mexico, in Mexico, yeah. South America, he opened one wow. in Spain. Like this man was was killing it, bro. Yeah, and I was like, well, what is he? Yeah, what, what are, are they doing? doing? Yeah, like yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah. anointing from heaven. Like they were talking about this thing called anointing, bro. And I don't right. know what the heck it was. Like, what is it? Like, what is it? Like, how can I get yeah. it? How much it costs? Where do I pick it up? You know. Right. And it was, I I came to find out, bro, that anointing comes, bro, from actually understanding who you are. God. Wow, understanding who you are in, in what way? I mean, you're gonna have to you have to preach this now. Yeah. What, no, no, what, no. What, is, what does that mean? Like, what? Do, how do you understand the 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 God given gift that you have, bro? That's your anointing. 
Gotcha. But everybody's trying to be like somebody else. Yeah. And and we want to imitate the anointing. Yeah. That that's why a lot of times, bro, the anointing is not. It's there. Right. But it doesn't get activated. Dude, that's my personal opinion. It's I know, good. I know we're gonna, we're gonna. No, it's good. Gonna, and I think that that applies a lot things. into like the whole like people like activating their creative journey or like their businesses, anything like right. Like that's that's an anointing and understanding that there's yeah. things that you shouldn't be doing. Okay, like gotcha. me, bro. Yeah, yeah. I could design Photoshop. Uh huh. I know how to do it. Right. I've been doing it. My wife and I, bro, we we've, we've done everything. Yeah. You know, you like um, like I do, some I, of the pictures. Pictures. Yeah. I could edit videos. But bro, I know that if I bring in a Paco in the mix, right, it's not only gonna take me to a different level, right, but it's gonna allow you to do what you know how to do. Right. You open doors for people to bro practice their anointing practice while you them. continue in yours. And I and I continue my bro. And, and right. I don't I don't I don't go through that whole hassle of like, no, bro, I want I want this. No, bro. I know that yeah, I know how to design. Yeah, but it's not my hundred percent forte. Right, it's not your anointing. It's not. My it could anointing. be a good skill. Right, it could be a good you skill. You could have a job in it. Right, I could. I that's mean, that's great. It's like like uh, like building, bro. Yeah. Um, I build houses. I mean, that's yeah. what I do. Um, outside of I, church. Outside of church. Yeah. And, and I build houses. I know how to build houses, bro. I could build you a house or like the handway or the handway. You know how to build a house. I know how, I know how to build a house. <laughs> that's Boom. cool. Yeah. That's a skill. Like, need. I, yeah. <laughs> that's a skill. Need. Yeah. Um. So with that being said, bro, like. It's just, but I've I've grown to where yeah. I don't need to build a house. Right. I have my employees that take yeah. care of a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And my thing is to create jobs for people that know how to do certain things. That's, would you say, if you could name, if you put a name to your anointing, would be, I mean, it, I, I guess it ends up being the pastor, right? Right. Because you, you're, open, you're opening doors opening for people doors for to, to, to walk into. In and, and be able to do what they know how to do. Right. But a lot of times, I mean, we're talking about pastoral ships. Like, we don't allow that, bro. Right. We want to, like. And what do you think is that? Like, you think it's insecurity or it's just ign ignorance? Uh, mal I, I think malice. it could be a balance of, of both things, Everything. bro. Like, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm not going to call anybody ignorant out there. For sure. You know, but at the yeah. end of the day, bro, like, it's insecurities, bro. Like, you think that people can't do their job yeah. and that you could do it better. Yeah. And it's just like, bro, like, no. And I think that lands on an insecurity too, right? Yeah, like, yeah, if you yeah. think like, yeah. oh, I'm not doing better than everybody, but you're insecure of letting right. something go or trusting. Right, right, right. right. I, I read something this this afternoon that, that caught my attention. Yeah. It's like, uh, it, it was talking about insecurities and how people are are sometimes so insecure that they don't allow, like, the the door's right open. Yeah. But your insecurity won't let you go in. Wow. And, and it was just like. For me, like it, I, I've been, I've been reading a lot of stuff in, in reference to, you know, um, the mind and, yeah. and how it works. Why so people have, so many people have struggles with the mind. I mean, and, and, and I fight it too. Yeah. Right? I mean, everybody, everybody does. But um, long story short, but like it caught, it caught my attention how, how sometimes insecurities were like a block, what God wants to do with us. Right. And, and it just, it takes you, uh, you know, to a different, different position, different level, yeah. and, and everything that. Yeah, and, and it's, it's crazy how you say, like, the door is open, and most of the time people know, right? right? Like, there's an opportunity, and they're like, oh, they're not going to get me, right. or they're not going to hire me, they're not going to give me the project. Like, right. why don't you just try and let them say no, right? Yeah. And even then, it's a learning experience. Yeah. But I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you. for me, it's been yeah. normal. Sorry, sorry. Go for it. No, no. But for me, it's been a norm, bro, like, to, to be like, bro. So, there was this one time, bro, back in the Tell day, me, yeah. where they were giving... They opened up a project. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have the manpower. Yeah. I didn't have the, I knew the skill. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the manpower. And it was a requirement where you had to have at least 16 routes to be able to do the job. 16 routes? Yeah. What does that mean? So 16, 16 different trucks. Okay. Got with it. 16 crews. crews. Of, yeah, crews yeah. and 16 yeah. crews to do the, the job. Oh, wow. And I went into that meeting, bro, telling them, hey, I want the job. I'm the man for the job. And you didn't bro, have it I yet. I didn't have any. And I walk, I, I get yeah. out of there, bro. They said, okay, we're going to give you the job. Right. You start next month. And how do you do it? Bro, I called everybody and everybody. That's crazy. I said, hey, you want to be blessed? Yeah. I want to bless you. <laughs> yeah. You have a truck? I know you have a truck because I'm calling you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You call me with yeah. trucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you have a truck because yeah. I'm calling you. Yeah. You want to be blessed. I started the month, bro. With sixteen different crews to do the, the contract that I had acquired. That you needed. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, and and just uh teach me a little bit about that. Cause for example, 
I mean, if you translate, you can translate that to every field. Right. You can. There, there's been jobs that I've refused because I'm like, oh, I don't have enough cameras, right. or I don't have a second shooter, or I don't have that light or that lens. Right. So it's like I'm not gonna, right. you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm doing them a disservice right. if I say yes to something that I don't feel qualified for. So how do you learn either that skill or what is it? I haven't been is able it to a understand. personality thing. I, I think it's a personality thing. Yeah. Because I've done that constantly. Like, and don't get me wrong, I prep right. myself. Yeah, yeah. For things, you know, like like uh videography. Yeah. You know, um I I had I had an issue with with uh it wasn't an issue, it was just a it was a concern of mine mm -hmm. where quality was of an essence. Mm -hmm. You know, when it wasn't. It was. It, it was. was of an essence. I got it. You know, it was it was like, okay, you bring your cameras, but then you're not gonna give me the quality that I want that yeah. I'm looking for. And this was for one of my wife's uh music videos. Right. Um that she recorded her first music video. I said, okay, so what I'll do is I just need a shooter, bro. Right. I need your knowledge, yeah. but I have the cameras. You bring in the gear. I yeah. bring the gear. I said, you you learn. I'm gonna give you 30 days for you to learn my gear, and then you you take it with that. I said, you I don't want any. I don't want anything below that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I this get is the quality it. standard. I'm not trying to be. You know, I'm not trying to be a douchebag. I'm yeah, not trying yeah, to yeah. be a jerk. I'm just saying that's the quality I'm expecting. Yeah. And I know you won't be able to give it to me, but you have something. Right. That I need, which is you know. You the got other the, end the of creativity. You know, yeah, so so I went in and I bought gear for for that whole video shoot. That's cool. And and now like we open a possibility for people to shoot. Like, yeah, my friends call me. Hey, bro, I'm shooting a music video. Yeah, I said, bro, take my gear. You have the gear. Yeah, I have all the gear. I have drones. I have you know yeah, yeah, yeah. five cameras and and everything. But it took me to take that opportunity. Yeah, um, to be able to say, okay, bro, like I know what I want, dude. Yeah. And I think that's the number one skill, bro, that brings you that. Like, I knew that as an entrepreneur, bro, like, I was right. meant for something greater. Yeah. But sometimes you have to take that 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 leap of faith. The leap and, of faith. And, and, it's and it's literally a that. risk, bro. And it's it's also a little bit elevated because not, you're not just trusting in you. Right. Like, you're buying all these thousands of dollars for somebody else. Right. To and use, Jeremiah use says, Jeremiah 29, 11, bro, I think it's 29, it says, I, I know the plans that I have for you, bro. I was always in my in my life. Yeah. The first the first verse that came to my heart, bro, was uh, okay. no. So so the first yeah. Buscar primeramente el reino de Dios y su justicia y right. todo lo demás será dado. Right, right. Bro, that was the first word that somebody came. Hey, God wants me to tell you something. Yeah, like look first the kingdom of God. Yeah. Everything else will everything be added. Everything else will be added. Yeah, yeah. And and it's justice and everything else will be added. And in his justice and and his justice and in his justice. Yeah. Got everything it. else will be added. Got so that was the first thing, bro. And I and I had that fresh, bro. Fresh, yeah. fresh, 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 fresh. Every single time. Okay. Okay. I look for God. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% with this kingdom. Yeah. I'm trying to be as just as possible. Yeah. So, God, why can't you? Everything else will be added. Good? Like, that's like you said it. Like, give, bro, I'm ready. It's, I'm ready. Yeah. And, bro, like, don't don't get me wrong, bro. We've had difficult times. For sure. My wife and I have, have passed difficult times, bro. Yeah. But God has always been there. 